I have been showing my art for six years and a lot of people pick up my card and say, oh, you tattoo as well. My art has been so influenced by my tattoo career. I've worked in so many different tattoo shops and I definitely need to have that discipline to show up and to have responsibility to other people. I, I need both. I need the socialization and I need to kind of decompress. Feeling ready? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> as ready as you can be to go under a needle for three hours. <laughs> Tattooing is different because there's not a lot of room for air. So <laughs> once it's there, it's there where with painting and assemblage, I can glue something together, but I can take it apart. It's, it's an organic canvas. You have to think about how it's going to change over time as we age. And there's, there's so many things that go into tattooing that people don't think about that that's, it takes you years to learn all that. With tattooing, I am appointment only, so therefore I get to choose my own hours. I come into my studio in the morning and I get to have a full like four to six hours of being here by myself and creating before I have to go to the tattoo shop and then I work and then yeah so it's this it's this really nice you know balance. I know I used to make so much more money when I wasn't a full-time tattooer but it my I wasn't mentally healthy. Cutting back and making art, like I will put 40 hours into something, which will be the same price as a three hour tattoo. You know, so no, I definitely do not make, uh, it is not equal at all, um, but I don't care because I'm happy. That's it. <laughs> a woman who wrote a little thing about my art a few years ago and I loved how she described them and she described them as dream totems. I think of them as spirits. It's a dialogue with death and spirituality and religion. My mom passed away 13 years ago and she had cancer, ovarian cancer, and she was this beautiful, big, gorgeous, bubbly, I mean, she was just an awesome lady. And when she was dying, I remember just feeling really angry that she looked scary and that in our culture, we view the skeleton or the skull and, as something as evil. And so I started looking up sugar skulls. I was finding books on the Day of the Dead and reading about it, and I, I just loved it. I love that they, it's a happy thing. They honor their dead and their skeletons are fun and whimsical and playful, just like my mom was. It's, it's changed my view on how I get to remember her, where I don't have to remember her, her death in darkness. It's, it's all light now. It's all big, beautiful light. So with tattooing, my mom being able to process her death and my grief around it, the holiday, Day of the Dead, it became just kind of like perfect uh, ingredients to create that's how I challenge myself, is take all these things that don't belong and make them belong together. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs>